In this video, I want to talk to you about the keys to success uh, for a social media advertising campaign. And there's a number of keys that um, make a campaign successful. And so there's really not one single thing that you can do to make your campaign successful. There's a number of things that need to be aligned together and work together uh, for you to have a successful campaign. Those are the big 10. And that's your campaign setup in terms of settings and objectives and conversions and what you're going after. Second is your targeting, how well you are targeting your audience and um, how precise your targeting is. Delivery is about reaching uh, your um, people on the different um, delivery channels that social media uh, ads uh, can reach them on. Then you have your product and offer and compared to your competitors, of course, then you have your price compared to uh, your competitors in industry. You have your ad creative and copy, your landing page, your customer journey and your reputation and trust factors. So these are the 10 major components of a standard ad campaign. Some campaigns can have more, some campaigns can have less. So that's why we have the rule of the three quarters. The rule of the three quarters says that you need to score at least 75% when you analyze the above factors and give yourself a realistic score between one and 10, right? So you, if you give each of these a score from one to 10, you need to score at least 75% of the maximum. Uh, so in this case, 75 out of, the, out of 100, if you use all 10, or if you use 11, it would change. Um, but you need to get to at least 75% to make sure that your campaign is um, going to be successful. So let's just jump to an example and I'll show you how that works. Right, this is the Masters Academy Facebook ad campaign scoring tool, uh, which we are going to use, or um, rather you are going to use when you create your campaigns. So um, the way it works is you have your 10 elements over here. And for each of these elements, you give yourself a score. And here on the right, I have um, given you some very important affecting KPIs that uh, of affect the performance of your campaigns, which you can use to judge how well you've done with a specific campaign. Here to the right, I have a description of each of these uh, factors and what they do. So first of all, let's start with the campaign setup. This is how well the campaign objectives, conversions and tracking are set up and aligned to reality, right? So if you're tracking objectives that are not aligned in reality, that could be very good, but it's not gonna work. Right, then second, you have your targeting, which is what percentage of the customers you are targeting are actually interested potential customers. Then we have our next thing, that's the, the delivery. And that's, do you manage to reach a sufficient quantity of targeted potential customers? Then you have your product and offer, and it's about, does your product offer solution compared to the competition? How does that how does it do that? Then it's your price. How does your price compare to the competition in terms of amount and value offered? So the amount of the price and the value that you offer, the price quality ratio uh, between you and your competitors. Then how engaging, attention grabbing, interesting, memorable, captivating are your ad creatives? How effective is your copy? Does it get the message across and does the message do the job? Then does your landing page perform in terms of bounce rate, engagement metrics and conversion rate? Is your customer journey like a flowing river or like a leaking bucket? Uh, and do you have huge out, uh, huge dropouts at any step? And if people are, start researching you um, off of your website on social media review, websites, comparison websites, and so on, what will they find? So now let's take an example with Masters Academy and show you, uh, for example, where we are so far. Right, so our campaign setup so far is around eight. We have realistic objectives, we have our conversions, we have our tracking setup, everything is all right. Maybe we, we are not perfect because of uh, things that we could optimize uh, and things that we could change in our business model. So that's why it's not a 10 yet. Now our targeting is really a six because we are being a new business, we know who would benefit 
from that. But who would be interested? Who are, is most likely to buy? We still have a lot of time uh, to go through all the different targeting options, test and, and confirm our um, hypotheses and get to a good targeting, right? So our targeting is around six, delivery is around five. So we do manage to reach a sufficient quantity of targeted potential users, but we do not manage to convert them. Now, our product and solution compared to the competition is very, very good. Uh, however, it's we are not um, communicating it very well. Now, our price is maybe around five again, not that good um, because it, we are not very good at, at communicating it. Our ad creatives, we believe are great, but our copy isn't uh, so far. We don't know what exactly to say uh, to our customers in an ad format very quickly and efficiently to convert them, right? So this is just an example of the current situation. Our landing page is maybe a five or a six. So let's give it a six, be a bit optimistic. Rather, it's better to be pe pessimistic, right? So our landing page does not really have a great uh, conversion rate. It has a low bounce rate, but not a great conversion rate. And our customer journey in general has a a few leaks so we are going to give that a six and our reputation and trust factors that would be a, probably a one right we don't have any built-up reputation and so our total for masters academy is 57 and now when we start creating um when we start optimizing our campaigns we need to take a look at um these notes over here Right, the goal is to score at least 75 when you are pessimistic about your scores. So we've been pessimistic. Uh, the, the things that we have going for us is the setup because we know how to set up a campaign. The targeting is not yet there. We can improve that though through testing. So that's not a, a big deal to do. Once we improve the performance of that, the reach can go up. So that's not a problem. We have a worldwide reach. So reach is not going to be a problem. That's a fixable thing. The price, it's not so much about the price rather than the communication. So we think that our price is good and we can maybe um, even uh, increase it. And so it's not about the price so much. Maybe I've given it uh, even a low score on the price. Our price could be even a seven. Now, our ad creatives are good. Our ad copy can definitely be improved. And again, just like with the targeting, those are subject to testing. Our landing page, again, is a subject to testing and maybe to some possible different business models. We could offer separate courses, we could offer subscriptions, we could offer, um, you know, we could break the, the, um, the programming too, reduce the risk. We could do a lot of things over here. Our customer journey is definitely subject to uh, improvement, but that's not a big deal. But that one is, right? The reputation and trust factors is right now one of the big, big things that we need to show. And as you can see this, note that a very low score on one of these factors might disproportionately affect your results. Now, that's, for example, if you have a great campaign, great targeting, great delivery, uh, great product, great ads, great copy, great landing pages, great customer journey, great reputation, but your price is outrageously high, maybe not going to work, right? Uh, and again, one thing can ruin them all, right? So if there's, if something is so bad that it can be a deal breaker, that's something to, to watch for, um, in a campaign. So you should always try to first improve the ones that are critically low. So even if that became a three, the, the difference between, let's say, uh, just to show you an example, if at 59, our campaign would, uh, let's just give some examples here. I'll put down the CPA um, and each conversion rate. Um, and the, yeah, but let's just stay with those. Right, if at 59, our CPA is 100 and our conversion rate is 1%, if we turn that to three, even though our score does not improve by a lot, let's say, let's put it at four, that is probably ha going to have a CPA of 80 and a conversion rate of 1.3, right? So it's going to have a huge impact because it was so bad before that even a 
a small amount of improvement can improve your campaign performance by even up to 50%, right? So that small of a difference can make, um, let's say at $100, we are losing money, at, at $80, we are fine. And so that can really make the difference between a success and a failure. And so what uh, that type of analysis can also help you see what do you need to do to make your campaign successful. Now, if we focus for a few months on our reputation and trust factors, when we start getting reviews, we start uh, doing our SEO, we start doing some PR, getting out, focusing a little bit on the blog and the YouTube channel so that when people research us, they can find uh, something that's good or acceptable and we get that to five, that can that is going to increase our conversion rates dramatically. We can improve our landing page and move on to increase our conversion rates a little bit. Now that delivery can definitely go up, but first we need to get the targeting up, maybe up to seven. That delivery can quickly go uh, a lot higher. And then we need to test different ad copies and, and improve that a little bit. The customer journey is just a matter of bugs. So we can get that to a nine very quickly and boom. And this should now be a successful campaign. There's when you are realistic about these things, if you cover three thirds of the elements that go into a campaign and you are doing good, you can clearly see that that now, if this was the case, that would be different. And as you can see right now, uh, for example, our campaign, um, if we put $100 of it in it, we get 90 back. But if we improve that by, let's say 20%, we would, if we put $100, we will get 100. And I don't know, um, that would be 90 times, hmm, let's see, um, that would be 90 times 1.2, it's already 108. So if we improve that by 20%, even I think if we increase our reputation and trust factors a bit, that would turn that uh, one unsuccessful so far campaign that we have into a success. So that's what I wanted to show you uh, with this. Even though you still don't know how to do a lot of these things, that's not a problem. I wanted to show you the big elements that go into a campaign. Now, sometimes for your business, there could be other things that go into that as well. And you can add them and take a look at it. This is not of a 75 out of 100, but it could be maybe 82 out of 110 or whatever it comes down to. Now, uh, for example, also, if everything is 10, but your targeting is one, you will get results that represent a lower score than 90. That's what I mean. If one of these guys is disproportionately lower and super bad, that could mean very, very low results. And another thing that you need to keep in mind is the difference between a score of 65 and 75 can be the difference between a failed business and a million dollar business. That's where these small incremental improvements over time lead to a successful business. Just like I showed you in the very, very beginning with the digital performance marketing model, it's always about doing these small incremental improvements to efficiency for you to get to a successful campaign. And the cool part with social campaigns is that the more data you accumulate, the more uh, the Facebook algorithm and the social algorithms in general are going to give you a better performance for your ads. And now, of course, when you use this tool in combination with um, the ad planner, you can see that, for example, let's open up ad planner and take the current situation. So right now, this is uh, the goal that we are getting, but this is our final goal. And let's see uh, if we go back and, and uh, reset the scores a little bit well, where we were, right? We are now at 59 and our current situation is a CPA of let's say 120 and we're losing a bit of money, right? And we don't get so many conversions either. Uh, let's say that we get around 40 conversions. And we're going to get rid of these expenses because they're unrealistic. Right. So we don't even get 40 conversions. We get around 30 conversions. So, and 
in, let's say our uh, CPA is 145 just to, to make it lose money right so we are somewhere around that um, well no uh, so let's make it 160 160 yes so right now our campaigns at around return on ad spend of 0 0.9 so what would happen and we we would sit down and research and see what's going on why people uh, are not buying and then we would see that from the feedback that we get that our reputation and once people start researching us they don't discover a lot of information about us so we need to focus on reputation management and if once we improve that and let's say get that to a five even though we're not at 75 that does not mean that our business is not going to be profitable because what that's going to do is that's going to decrease that cpa to 140 and we are now going to break even and then if we then do some improvement to let's say our ad copy uh, and maybe to our landing page, we are going to get much closer to 70 and that is going to turn into 130. And now you can see that we are already getting profitable and maybe we can also increase the number of conversions as well. Uh, at, at this point, once we get profitable, we can start scaling up the conversions and it's going to get a little bit harder and then we're going to do some improvements. Here's that improvement in increasing the delivery where we're going to get more conversions. And then um, let's say uh, we are not, the price is not going to change, the product is not going to change, but we can improve our targeting a little bit, maybe get that to an eight uh, over time. And then that's going to do another incrementation on that and so now you can see we are even more profitable and then once we start um, scaling up the delivery let's say we can go to 10 on that um, and maybe we can go and um, even say let's say we, we can get to 100 now you can see that's starting to get profitable but then we need to focus a little bit more on efficiency and then we can do some improvements to the customer journey which is just bug fixing and and you know um analyzing our funnels and and checking out what's going on and making sure that they are all like a flowing river and not like a leaking bucket and then uh, let's say that cpa is going to get down to uh, maybe let's say 80 and now that we are much more profitable we can even increase the amount of conversions a little bit and you can see that we can reach we can expect to get there if we manage to get here, right? That's kind of how this relationship uh, between this tool and the um, app planner tool works. So I wanted to show you that because a lot of the time people are wondering, hey, I tried a campaign, but they don't know how to judge where they need to get to make that campaign successful. Now, once um, you've done that, uh, I believe you can, um, with a fair amount of certainty, if you are fairly pessimistic about your scores, you can get to a successful campaign. Now, in the next video, we are already going to start preparing for actually making these campaigns.